let's say you make a tune, but it's missing that one key ingredient, vocals. You can find vocals online, like on Splice or other websites, but they're often missing that originality to make your tune stand out. So what you do is you hop onto social media, searching for singers or rappers or MCs, and after endless searching, after pleading to the singer, you finally find someone who agrees to hop on your track. They record the vocals for you, send them through, and finally you've got some original vocals to work with. It was tough to get them, and you want to make sure the tune is a banger. If you watched my last video, you'll have learned about creating lots of tracks over the course of the week instead of creating one track in the same time frame. Now imagine you have these vocals and within a week create five different tracks with these vocals on. So you're essentially reusing the vocals five different times. Then, once a week is up, you simply pick your favourite track. You can even send the tracks to the vocalist to see which one they prefer. And then once you've come to a decision, you can then dedicate some time towards that final track to get it finished. So what you'll do is add the finishing details, get all the structure down, and then mix and master it. The final version of this track is almost guaranteed to be better than if you just focused on one single track. This is because you've got more tracks to choose from, more chances to be creative. There'll be more outcomes to your input. You can then even go on to create a mini sample pack with the original vocals that you got sent. This will obviously be for personal use for future track. For example, imagine an MC or a rapper has sent you some bars. He sends across lots of different bars and lots of ideas. Maybe you use all the bars he sent, maybe you only use some of them and don't use the rest of them. What you can do with these vocals is create a little folder, slice them all up and then store them away in your vocal samples folder. And then when you come to produce a future track, you can then use these on that track. You can use it for things like sound bites, pre-vocal drops, vocal chops. You can get creative, use it as percussion. For example, I often layer vocal samples over hi-hats. If the specific vocal sample that you really like has already been used in a track, but you want to use it again, and you want some originality in the track that you're using it in now compared to the last track, and there's also little ways to get around this as well. For example, you can try heavily processing the vocal to make it sound different. And you can also try messing around with the pitch of the vocal to get a different sound. Or you could do things like vocal chopping. Also, this is something you can do with vocals that you found online, for example on Splice. If you heavily process or change the pitch and just play around with the sound until it sounds way different to how it originally sounded, that will give it some originality. That's if you're really struggling to find vocals. But hopefully, once you've built up your collection of original vocals into these sample packs, you can always come back and use these vocal samples if you're struggling with your tune, if you've not currently got any vocals and you don't really want to wait around for somebody to record some for you. It really helps with productivity and finishing tracks especially when you're quite limited on your vocal samples. The potentials for music production are pretty much endless. If you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments. Scroll down right now and hit that share button underneath this video. Send the video over to a friend who might like to hear it. Remember, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts.